Hey everyone, welcome back. Super Auto Pets, let's go. Um, did I get a little bit better last time we played? Uh, I think so. Um, I think so, right? So a fish apparently is good. So let's get a fish on the board. Okay, a mosquito, start a battle, deal one damage to a random enemy. Kind of like this, to be honest. So I'm just going to do that. Don't like the duck that much. So I'm going to re-roll. Oh my God, there's more fish. There's more fish. Okay, let's freeze this fish. Um, I don't care about the others. Okay, let's hope for a good start here. Oh, what are we going to be called? The edible eyes. The, the sticky eyes. The edible eyes. I kind of like that. I mean, I think eyes are edible. I feel like I've eaten a chicken eye or a fish eye in my life. I could be completely wrong. Um, the flexible bits. Okay, this guy's also got two fish. However, we do one random damage to one of them. Straight away, our mosquito kills two of them. Let's go. And then the fish trade. But we've got one whole fish left at the end. You'd love to see it. Okay. Let's go. Fish are pretty good. Someone said, hey, you need more fish. So I'm getting more fish. Okay, another mosquito. Kind of want to put it there again. I don't really want to level stuff up yet. We could just re-roll or we could stuff. We could stuff, but we could put give an animal plus one plus one. Okay, here's another fish. Now, if we level it up, obviously it gives all friends plus one plus one, but I kind of want loads of fish. This is just a stronger mosquito to me. So let's level up the mosquitoes and then buy a fish. We've got four fish. Is that wise? I don't know. Uh, I feel like we should probably be leveling them up, to be honest, by now. Oh my god, this guy's got three beavers, to be fair, so it's kind of on. Apart from the beavers have... Okay, no, only, only one beaver has two HP. So we should be okay here because one fish kills two beavers. And one fish kills two pigs. Oh, let's go. The fish are cracked at the start. Fish are cracked. You hit it here. Probably not first, but... Okay, two wins. You've reached turn three. Thank you. Yo, do we go for the dodo again? Do we go for the dodo again? Ooh. Um, Because we could technically buy a dodo and then stack it up, right? Let's do this then. Let's put the fish here like this i'd like to put oh no i didn't mean to do that i meant to put that one at the back okay here's what i'm thinking just to be safe let's get a dodo on the board we're gonna have to get something on the board so i've just kind of thrown that for us so i'm gonna put a draft the draft will give the attack to the dodo dodo will give the attack um to the fish and then we just i feel like we just kind of tank up the dodo Okay, that was a, oh, I should have re-rolled as well. It was kind of kind of a mistake from me um, by accidentally merging those fish together, which is a shame because I didn't really want to do that. I just wanted to swap it around. Okay, mosquito kills the flamingo straight away. That's actually huge. Although it is a... Oh my God. Yo, okay. Mosquito kills the turkey. That's nice. Fish gets to kill two things. Oh, I love it. 6-6, six, six, but he dies straight away. Okay, good start so far. I think. Um, three crowns, four hearts. Okay. I think this is something that I need to do eventually. I just I don't think I'm ready to do this now. I haven't played for like five, six days. So um, kind of feels weird to just do some weird tactics straight away. I just want to be safe, you know. Give a random friend. Okay. Kind of want to just keep improving the dodo. Let's re-roll a little bit. I was hoping there's going to be a dodo there. Okay, the rat is four. The rat is four five. So I'm just thinking here we could improve the fish a little bit and then put the rat on instead, which I think I'm actually gonna do. We're gonna move the fish to there. We're gonna put the rat there. Okay, now we're gonna re-roll because we're looking for. That would make it a level two mosquito, but do I need that right now? I'm not sure. I'd also like to freeze the apples so we can upgrade the dodo. Now someone said, I think it was Havery commented on the last video saying. If you use a sleeping pill, it makes the faint, um, the faint effect for the animal permanent, and it's like better than selling them most of the time because you get the faint effect. Now, obviously, we don't have really any faint effects apart from the rat, which I don't really care about too much, but that's something I need to take into account. Um, I also need to understand this a little bit more because I do avoid this. Give an animal bone attack, attack for five something more damage. I don't think that's just. Is that just increased attack damage that isn't on the stats? See, I don't know. So, um, Do I want, really want to freeze that as well? You know what? We'll buy two mosquitoes and an apple next time. It's very stupid. I'm aware of that because they're all level one 
units, but um, I feel like it would be okay for a little bit. Okay, this guy's got a spider. The spider summons a tier 3 unit as a 2-2, two, two, I think. The mosquito straight away kills it, and it's going to kill the whale as well. That's nice. Okay. The rat's going to kill the fish. But it's going to summon a rat on their team, which actually won't aid us in this fight, I don't think. It's also just been buffed by the horse. Okay, the dodo needs to go big here. The dodo is going to go big. It's going to kill everything. Let's go. Okay, that rat got stacked at the end. Maybe it's not wise to have a rat. Um, okay, four wins. Let's go. That's nice. I'm a bit worried about the giraffe right now, but... Okay, let's just... Okay, each shot food gains plus one, plus one. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm aware that this probably isn't the wisest, but let's get rid of the giraffe. And let's put the worm. The worm eats shop food. So if we give the worm any shop food, it's just going to... That's not food, is it? That's an item that gives it armor, which we obviously can't afford to use right now. I'm going to unfreeze that because I don't care too much. And we will re-roll again. And I would like none of those. Okay. Um. Oh, God, this is bad. A one and one worm is not, is not great. Um. This also means I can't feed the dodo all the food. So I'll be feeding it the worms. Maybe the worm's not the best creature to have here with the dodo. Okay, the puffer fish is horrible. Uh, I hate that creature. It's going to kill two of our animals while doing damage to more. Yeah, uh, I think we lose this one, which is a shame. The worm is not going to do a lot for us. It's okay, it's our first loss. You know, um, it's okay. It happens. Uh, defeat. Okay, we're on three lives now. There are two rats here. Okay, I want to get rid of the worm though. That's my main concern right now. Um, so I don't want to feed the worm. I want to feed the dodo. So my main thing is let's feed the dodo. We could upgrade the rat, but then we're not going to have anybody at the back. So I'm actually going to put another rat at the back for now. Just to make up for it. The camel here. Okay, the turtle... A friend eats shop food, give it plus one health. I kind of like this, right? Because we can just feed the dodo and then the dodo will get more health. Seems like an idea, maybe. Let's freeze that and then let's not care about the rest too much. Okay. All of these are getting freezed. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to afford any of that over the next turn. Um, but it's important that we get that dodo upgraded as soon as we can. So it can give its attack damage to more enemies. Okay, that's a deer at the front, which means you're about to get a 5-5 bus. The mosquito should be able to... Okay, it's about to say the mosquito should be able to kill the bus, but couldn't. Okay, the dodo is not going to live here. Actually, no, the dodo and the elephant will trade. Yeah, the rat's not going to be enough. Oh, wow, okay, the puffer fish actually gets killed. Okay, we are indeed in trouble. Um, we've lost two lives now. The naughty noses. Right, four wins, two losses. Okay, it seems to have a strong early game and then I sort of fall off at this point. And it might be because I freeze everything like this. Let's get this dodo upgraded straight away. Oh, the crocodile start of battle deal seven damage to the last enemy. Gonna be honest, I kind of like that. Oh, a turkey friend summoned. Okay, hang on. This is gonna give attack to the two friends ahead. They're kind of healthy, so I, I kind of approve of that. I really want to get the turkey, but we don't have any things to get summoned, so and stay away from the turkey for now. Instead, we're going to get the crocodile at the back. I'm going to unfreeze the rabbit because I don't want it. I do still want the fish for now. Um, well, we could... No, let's just keep the fish for now because it will, of course, give all of our friends plus two, plus two when we level up eventually, which is only one more fish after this one. I would also love to freeze the apples so we can increase the dodo stats a little bit more, seeing as he now gives his attack damage to the fish and the rat. However, I still feel like we are very weak, seeing as we have a mosquito as our front thing. That turkey has melon armor. Not turkey. That peacock has melon armor straight away. Okay, the crocodile killed. Oh, we are doomed here. Okay, the rat is going to kill the peacock, but the rat's going to die. The fish will kill the kangaroo, but of course the fish will die. Okay, it's all on the dodo here. I think we live. I think we win against the smooth wigs. I think we beat them. Okay, nice. Nice. I like that a lot. Um... I like that a lot. Okay. Let's, uh... Oh, okay, there's the fish. So do we just want to go fish, apple, apple? I think we do. Let's get this dodo stacked. Okay, so we're one fish away. 
Okay, no fish. There is a... Okay, I'm kind of tempted to get another rat here. So this, some of the one, one dirty rat. Yeah, like it doesn't feel like the level of the rat doesn't matter that much. I'm going to freeze that rat just in case we can get to a level three and then we can always sell it later. But the dodo is the most important thing right now. I feel like I need more like stronger animals in front of the dodo, but we're one fish away from getting that level three fish, which then upgrades the rest of the people on the board. So we can then get rid of the fish after it's reached level three. But it is kind of doing work for us right now. As always, we lose our mosquito. The rat trades for the hippo. The turtle was stacked. Okay. Oh, not melon armor. Okay, the dodo should actually stay alive here. Which is nice. Okay, so the dodo is going to not kill. Oh, no. No, we lose. The rat. My rat just made us lose that. So the rat needs to go because it's going to do that again. Come on, I want to get at least six wins. Okay. Um... If you lost last battle, give all your friends plus two, plus two. Okay, here's something that's really important. It's canned food. I'm actually thinking here we put the turtle in instead of the rat. Because it will then give the melon armor to the fish. But also it will... Oh no, we'll put the melon armor... Oh, where do we want to put the turtle? Do we want the dodo to be melon armored or the fish? I feel like the dodo is going to be the strongest. No, it's not. Because these guys are going to have more attack. Okay, the rat is going to be sold, I'm afraid. Yes. Because it's just getting me killed a little bit too much. Let's unfreeze you. Let's get the turtle on board. Okay. Let's re-roll. Okay. Not really what I was hoping for there. We could go salad bowl. I'm going to go salad bowl. Okay. Buff those two. That's good because they're the ones getting buffed by the dodo as well. There's another dodo. We're going to freeze that. Give three random animals. Plus one. Plus one. Hang on. So if we make the turtle faint... Will it give the fish permanent, well not permanent, melon armor, but it would make it start with melon armor, right? Which I feel like would be okay. I feel like that's okay. Um, I'm just trying to think this through, sorry. Dodo, okay, we definitely want the dodo. Do I want... Copy the level one ability from the animal ahead. See, we could move everything up one, right? And then put this guy at the back. Because then he would then copy the level 1 ability from the crocodile. Hmm. And then, yeah, I think we do that. But we can't do it yet. So we're going to have to freeze you, I'm afraid. I kind of want to freeze the sushi as well. Let's then re-roll. Give an animal plus 1 experience. Okay. We've got some decisions to make. <laughs> some decisions to make. We could give the fish the experience to give plus 2, plus 2 to every other animal. Which might be the way to go. But we'll have to get rid of the mosquito and add the other thing first. Okay, nice. The bird at the back dies. What's the monkey's ability? Give rightmost friend plus two plus two. Because then that guy copies it. Okay. I'm not really paying attention to the fight here. Excuse me. What was that? Oh, we lose. No way. Wait, what was that that did so much damage to us? I wish we could replay that fight. I'm not actually sure what just did that much damage to us. Because I wasn't really paying attention. I was trying to read what the monkey does. Ah, okay, you know what? It's cool. It's cool. We go again. We go again. Um, okay. A beaver. Okay, so when we buy, that gives one random friend. Okay, I don't like this. We're going to reroll the whole thing. Okay, we get a fish again. I kind of like the fish again. The duck worries me. But we do get a pig and a fish. We're going to have to put the duck on because we've got nothing else. Now, which one do we want at the front? I guess the duck. Well, not really the duck. We want someone that's going to survive at the front. So I feel like the fish. We'll put the duck at the back. Okay, I don't think we're going to win the first one. Um, the flopping swimmers is exactly what we need. We could have gone teapots because I'm British. But I feel like flopping swimmers, you know. It's kind of a vibe. Okay, fish versus fish. This fish, of course, has increased health because of the horse, I imagine. So that sucks. So we lose the first one straight away. That's okay. That happens. Maybe I should have stuck with the original um, roll. Okay, we do get two more pigs, which... Oh, if you buy, it gives a random friend plus one plus one. Okay. Let's buy you. Gives it to the pig. Okay, so let's upgrade this pig. I do not want to... Um, that's it. I don't want to merge those just yet. We will then re-roll and we will save the fish. Kind of want to save the apple, but... Okay. 
Um, not the strongest start here, to be honest. Um, the pig is 4-4, so he's kind of our best pet. We can always feed him an apple as well. We upgrade the fish. Obviously, he'll get even stronger. Okay, the fish is going to kill two things, three things at the start. So this one, another cricket, of course. Now it's four versus three. The pig is, in fact, strong. Okay, the beaver's going to kill two things here, but our otter will be alive to, to live. So we beat the flopping pieces. Okay, one win, one loss. We've got to beat five. We started off with five wins today. Thank you very much. Okay, there's another pig. So I'm going to have to upgrade this pig to a level two. Kangaroo, I kind of like this. Friend attacks gain plus two, plus two. Um, if we sell this, it gives shop animals plus one, plus one. So let's sell you. Makes kangaroo a little bit stronger. Let's get the kangaroo on board over here. So now when this pig attacks... Okay, nice. Let's get this fish to level... Sorry, halfway to level two. Uh, we're going to need to re-roll a little bit here. Okay. Um, i trying to think. We could... I'm kind of tempted to put a mosquito in just to be the front thing and deal one damage again. Um, and then we can obviously merge the pigs, but I'm, I'm not too worried about it. I'm not going to freeze anything right here. Uh, I'm quite comfortable with where, I, with where I'm at. Um, tempted by the swan as well, but it's not worth freezing. So we're going to let it play on here. So the flopping swimmers versus the naughty bushes. Okay, well, the cricket is going to get killed. But then it's going to swim another cricket, so they trade, so it is 4v4. We've then got a pretty healthy pig. We should be able to kill the elephant, unless the elephant gets buffed. Oh, okay. So it's all down to the kangaroo, who's been buffed, because obviously his friend attacked. So the kangaroo will be able to kill both the peacock and the elephant. Very nice. And then the pig will kill the otter, and we beat the naughty bushes. Okay. Nice. Two wins, one loss. We can do this today. I'm feeling it. Friends summoned. That's definitely going to be a no. Okay, let's feed some stuff here. Um, kind of want to feed the kangaroo. Because it gains plus two, plus two, and the friend attacks are even stronger. But I also mean... I think that means we want to keep the pig alive. So I'm going to feed the pig, which might be a waste. Uh, we're going to make this fish a level two, which will increase all of our friend's stats by one. Wonderful. The pig's now seven, seven. Now, here's the turtle. So, obviously, I'm thinking, hello, we need to get the turtle on board with this. So, let's get rid of the otter. Okay. Now, the turtle can go on the board. My question is, where do we place it? We're going to have to freeze the fish because I want to upgrade this guy again. So, where do we place it? Because I want it to be really in front of the pig because... Then the kangaroo will get a few more like stats because the pig should attack a few more times if it's got melon armor. So, is this the way I want to do it? I think so. I kind of think I want the healthy fish at the back. Then that gives them more time to stack. Okay, let's try this. Yeah, let's try this. The fish could be, or probably will have higher stats than the pig. After we upgrade the fish even more. But also the pig is waiting to be upgraded as well. We just need another animal to take this guy's slot. So we can merge them together. Uh, which is why I haven't merged them together already. In case you were wondering. Okay they've got a pig at the front. He's going to kill the turtle straight away. Okay we get melon armor. Now here's the issue we have. So it kills the pig. But it's going to die to the swan. But the kangaroo is going to have some decent stats now. It's going to be 8-9. So we can kill the dodo. And the giraffe. And trade with the otter. Nice. Easy win against the, disgr just, yeah, the disgruntled mouths. Nice. Three wins, one loss. Okay. Let's get the fish straight away. Okay. What am I thinking right now? I'm not too sure. Um, friend summoned. No. Hit. No. I think I'm going to feed the pig again. And then I'm going to re-roll. And there's another fish. I have to do it. So to me, okay, the fish is actually still uh, fish is actually still weaker. Now, we don't want to put garlic armor on the pig because the melon armor will overrule it, but we could put it on the kangaroo, which I think might be smart. I'm going to freeze the garlic armor, and then we're going to hope that we get either a really good animal to replace this pig, or we want another fish to upgrade the fish some more. He's one fish away from level three, which obviously increase everybody else's stats. Okay, their spider trades with the turtle straight away. So our melon armor gets wasted on a spider, which kind of sucks. But it is going to be able to attack a few more times because it kills the whale, which is nice. 
It can then kill the spider, which is another attack, which is nice. It's then going to kill the giraffe, which is another attack. So our kangaroo is 12, 13. Now I do see that fish. Now they're going to trade, which is kind of not... No, because the fish had melon armor, I guess. Okay. Fully didn't expect that. Uh, fish to have melon armor there. I'm not sure why I didn't see that. Okay. Um... I'm tempted by this. Let's, okay, let's do this, right? Let's merge the pig. I really want the dodo. The dodo works well for me. And then we put a dodo at the back. He's gonna give attack to friend ahead. He's only got one attack. So I feel like we put him there to buff the kangaroo a little bit. Now we wanna start buffing the dodo, I guess, instead of the kangaroo. So we're gonna feed the dodo and we're gonna give garlic to the kangaroo. We're then going to re-roll and we're gonna freeze the fish. Okay. I don't like this build very much. This is where I fall apart when it gets to this mid stage of the game. I don't know how to adapt very well. Okay, and our turtle is going to trade with the cricket. Then he's going to summon another cricket. Also, they killed our dodo straight away. The dolphin did. So this is going to be a tough one because their ox has melon armor. Oh, oh no. So we can't trade with the ox because he's going to kill the pig. Oh my god. Yeah, the kangaroo dies to the ox. The fish... Cannot kill the peacock. Okay, what's with all the melon armor? Okay, I think I'm missing something here with the melon armor. So three wins, three losses. Okay, I probably should have buffed. Oh, I mean, I probably should have bought some of the animals before I did that. Okay, let's think about this. I'd love to painkiller this guy, actually, because then the pig gets melon armor from the start. Uh, I'd also love the crocodile, but it means getting rid of something. Um... And we can't really get rid of an 11-11 pig right now, is what I'm, it's what's going through my head. The fish is 8-9, so I feel like the fish also isn't really getting, isn't really worth getting rid of right now. Uh, the hippo, if we knock out, gains plus 2, plus 2. Okay, let's um, re-roll, even though I really want a crocodile. Okay, end turn, given, give other level 2 and free friends, plus 1, plus 1. Give other level 2. And three friends plus one. This would give the pig. Wait. Give other level two and three friends plus one. Surely that's just the whole board. Okay, there's a painkiller. So here's what I think we do. Let's painkiller this stupid turtle. And then the pig starts with melon armor, right? Now, I'm th <laughs> this is. I obviously want the pig. Um, now, I also kind of want the penguin. But what I'm thinking from the start is if we take a dolphin, it's going to deal four or five to the lowest health enemy. Okay. We could give the dodo there instead, but then the kangaroo doesn't really benefit. Is the kangaroo worth having is the question. I want to keep the pig because this guy's kind of strong. He's got melon armor and it's maybe I should have gave the melon armor to somebody better than a pig. Maybe that's a big mistake. Okay. The penguin... Give other level two and free friends plus one. I feel like that's a good thing to have, but the penguin's really weak. Okay. Um, well, let's try this. I am scared. I'm going to re-roll a little bit. More painkillers. And an apple. I'll freeze the apple for the dodo, of course. I could do with some more dodos. I need to stop trying to go the dodo route because it clearly doesn't work. Uh, well, not for me anyway. Okay, that cricket at the start is uh, strong. And it's going to take the melon armor from the pig. But the pig should be able to kill two things. I think a dolphin just killed the giraffe. Okay, the cricket's dead. Let's summon a 2-2 cricket. That's okay. We should still be able to kill the rooster. We do. We should then be able to kill the fish. No, because the chick... I forgot about the chick. Okay. Okay, nice. Kangaroo is cracked. Let's go. Okay, nice. Okay, four wins. Three losses. Can we get to five wins again? Okay, the pig, I mean, honestly, who would we, I'm trying to think, I kind of want to keep the dolphin now, so we're actually going to unfreeze the penguin and not go that route, or is the penguin good? I'm confused. Uh, we're going to feed the dodo, though. Give other level two and free friends plus one, plus one. So I'm guessing that just means it would give this pig plus one, plus one, and free friends plus one, plus one. So let's say if we get rid of the dolphin, it would give the fish, the dodo, and the kangaroo plus one. Okay, we're going to ignore that actually for today. I'm going to be honest. I just forgot to unfreeze the pig. 
Okay, now we can re-roll or we can buy garlic armor. Who am I thinking garlic armor for? I'm thinking everyone, so I'm going to go for the fish. I don't think it's going to help too much, but let's give it a go. Hopefully the dolphin can kill somebody early on again. It gives it to the lowest health enemy, so who's it going to kill? It's going to kill the horse, which I think might be beneficial because it would stop buffing things that get summoned. Okay, so the horse dies. Okay, the deer gets eaten and a bus is put in its place. But of course, that means we're going to end up with two buses to kill because it's going to... Oh wait, the puffer fish had melon armor? Okay, so the pig's going to kill the puffer fish, but not about killing itself. Kangaroona has to kill a bus, a deer, and then a, oh no, a bus, a whale, a deer, a bus. Which I think it can do all of that just fine. Let's go, kangaroo. Okay. Okay. Nice. Okay, we're back to five wins again. Can we beat five wins this time? Come on. Okay, we have to go for another dolphin. I think it just makes sense. Nice. Um... Can animal splash attack? Does that does that mean that the start of battle? I need to learn how these kind of synergies work, I guess. But I don't want to risk it right now. So I'm actually gonna skip. I can't get any more fish, which sucks. Okay, more garlic armor could be really good. Um just to be annoying. So let's put garlic armor on the dodo to be annoying. And let's use a salad bowl as well. Bust the pig, okay. Okay, let's go. I still don't think we're very strong. If we can get another win here before we lose. The flopping swimmers versus the rolling eyes. Okay. This is going to be a little bit annoying, I think. Uh, we kill the flamingo. We should kill the turtle. Because we need two less down. No, we don't kill the turtle. We trade with the turtle. That's fine because the kangaroo gets stacked. It's going to... Oh, no. I was about to say it's going to trade with the 1717 cricket, but it's not... So we lose. Oh. We've got the five wins again. Okay, maybe we try something new. Yeah, maybe we try something new here. Um, damn it. Okay, let's go straight back in. Okay, um, friend summoned. Give it plus one attack until the end of battle. Do I really want to go two ants? Because all they're going to do is just give the horse a bunch of... Buffed. You know what? Let's just do it. And then here, let's... You know what? I'll actually take a mosquito. I'll also happily take a second horse. Let's be called the... Um, the broken dust bunnies. You know, I I am a broken dust bunny, so... Let's, uh, let's call our team that. Okay, the broken dust bunnies versus the gushing astronauts. Ant kills ant. Ant kills beaver. They should both buff the horse enough for the horse to trade with the last beaver. No, they should because I forgot out the horse. Oh, wait, they should. Okay. Nice. Um, <laughs> must have buffed the other ant, I think, but that's cool. Right. Let's get a... We obviously want another horse, I feel like. Right. We then also want a mosquito. We want it at the front, I feel like. And we also want a cricket, so let's put the ants together. Or do we put the horses together? Hang on, what do the horses do again? Friends summon to give it plus one attack until battle. I mean, this would then give this plus two attack, which is kind of nice, but only the first time. Um, let's just merge these together for now, and then we'll get a cricket on board. Let's put the cricket right at the front. Okay, let's re-roll. Or otters. I think I'm okay. Uh, this is a horrible start, I think, for me. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, hopefully the mosquito can kill any of those 1 HP people, please. Mosquito, do your thing. They've got two mosquitoes. Wish it would have killed. Okay. Oh, the ant gets buffed as well, but it gets traded straight away. That's nice. We, su we summon a cricket. They buff a mosquito. Nice. Our cricket trades. Mosquito trades. Let's go. Okay, the silly muffins have been defeated. Come on. One win, one draw. Happy enough. Um, okay. We should definitely invest in some of these because they are healthy. Um, friends sold. Give a random friend plus one health. Okay. I don't think we're going to sell anybody just yet. I feel like we're going to do that. I would like the peacock, to be honest. Um, 
Do I want a rat? I don't want any of those. Okay, the dodo's back, and I'm I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to include the dodo again. Give attack to friend ahead. Now, where would we fit the dodo into this build? I'm saying we're not gonna fit the dodo into this build, so let's not buy the dodo. Okay. Um Okay, let's do Let's freeze the ant and do a bit of re-rolling. Freeze an ant again. Okay. Oh, it's a fish. I'm hoping for another peacock. I'd like to level up a peacock a little bit and try and get that guy going. Try and get him some melon armor and stuff and some health. Um, also some attack. Okay, so right at the start, the peacock is going to trade with the beaver after two attacks. Okay, that, that's going to have to do. Now this sheep is going to be an issue because it's going to do that, but it's also going to summon two rams. So I think we lose here because, yeah, we're not strong enough to kill all of this stuff. Uh, which sucks. Couldn't even kill the fish. You just got destroyed there by the creamy carrots. So one win, one draw, one loss. If you lost last battle, give all friends plus two, plus two. I kind of like that. Who do I get rid of though? You know what, let's get rid of the peacock. It's not going to work for me. Or let's get rid of... Okay, you know what, let's get rid of the mosquito. Now let's add the snail. Okay, we're then going to put the snail, not at the front, but let's put it there, just to be annoying. Two swans, not really feeling it. There's another dodo, that would have been the third swan as well. Okay. Um, this is a bad start for me. I don't really know what direction I'm going. I don't take a dodo now. That's the issue. I'm just locked to that one meta. Okay, it looks like these animals at the start are going to trade after two attacks. We need that peacock to be a little bit stronger so it can insta-kill the first attack. Or on the first attack. Snail trades, they trade, okay. I feel like our, yes, our Anne should be able to help out a lot here. They're gonna trade, oh no, the puffer fish. Puffer fish, okay, we trade. Okay, we trade. The clumsy herbs, okay, one win, one loss, two draws now. Okay, we could get another snail here. If you lost last battle, give all friends plus two, plus two. Let's hold on to you until we do lose the next battle. Um, okay, if this ant faints, it gives a random friend plus two, plus four, plus two. So we could just make this ant faint and give somebody on here plus four, plus two. And then we could swap it with someone better, maybe. Let's freeze that for now. Let's re-roll. Okay, deal attack damage to adjacent animals. I don't really like that. So let's re-roll again. Here's another horse, which will take our horse to level two. End turn, give right most friend. Plus two, plus two. Right most. Does that mean furthest right or closest right? Um, that's my concern right now. Let's think about this a little bit. I kind of like this ant giving plus four, plus two. I would like to get a blowfish. Okay, hear me out here. Let's get rid of the snail. I know we froze that one, but that can just be to buff something else later on. Or maybe... Oh, I don't know. Let's get rid of the snail. And let's add a blowfish to be awkward. Okay, thank you, horse, for that. Let's then increase... I still was going to try and increase the turkey's stats a little bit. Um, because... I want the turkey to be able to one-shot on the first attack. Okay. Come on. Okay, so this deer straight at the start is going to summon a bus. The bus is, of course, going to kill the peacock, but the peacock will trade with the bus. But the bus has splash damage, which I always forget about, so that sucks. Okay, the camel's going to die. Well, these two are going to trade, which sucks again. Oh. Unless the horse is going to go absolutely cracked here. No. Okay, now's the time to buy the snail, I guess. So we shouldn't have sold the other snail so soon. Who do we replace for the snail? Is the Okay, there's two snails as well. Let's get rid of the cricket. Let's buy one snail. Let's buy a second snail. Okay, that's kind of nice, right? Uh, let's re-roll a little bit. The turtle. So we could painkiller the turkey at the front. But we'd have to get rid of somebody. I mean, we painkiller the turtle, which would then give melanoma. Okay, let's do this. Let's sell you. 
Let's move all of these back. Let's put the turtle at the front. Let's then freeze this other turtle. So then we can painkiller the turtle. Oh my god. What happens if you get a level 2 turtle? That's going to be crucial information that we need to know. What happens if you get a level 2 turtle? Because is it worth us... Like, I, I don't know how to explain it. Is it worth us painkillering a turtle and then putting another one on? Or is it worth us upgrading the turtle to a level 2? Is it worth us upgrading the turtle to a level 2? And then painkillering it. Okay, the puffer fish is strong and it's going to kill everything. Oh, no. Okay, the horse needs to be nice. The horse trades. Wait, the horse doesn't trade. The horse wins. Okay, the hungry hands have been defeated. Okay, two wins, two losses. Now we need to decide here. Obviously, give friend behind. Is it going to do the two friends behind Melanama? Or is it going to just do... It's going to give... It's not going to do what I want it to do, is it, basically? So I'm thinking we painkiller it. I'm thinking, because that gives this permanent melon armor. And then we can move that to the front and then put a turtle there for the puffer fish. Okay. Let's do that and put you at the front. Let's then put another turtle here. Let's then buy this peacock to help this upgrade this one a little bit. Then this ant here. So the ant is now one away. Okay, I don't think that's good. I, I don't know how the... Mm, okay, we need to experiment, don't we? But I, I can't risk experimenting here. We need to do like a stream where we experiment synergies and stuff. Okay, so right at the start, our melon armor gets wasted on a 2-2 two, two deer. Which means it's now going to get lose half its health to a bus. And so is the turtle behind. But the turtle behind obviously gives melon armor to the puffer fish, which is nice. Okay, the peacock's actually going to do quite a lot for us here. Very nice. Puffer fish will trade with the peacock and do... It won't trade. It's got melon armor. So it's going to kill the dodo. Let's go. The milky piggies have been defeated by the broken dust bunnies. Come on. Three wins, two losses. Okay. Right. Um. Okay. Um. Let's put garlic armor on the... Not on you because you're going to get melon armored. I feel like we put it on the ant. So as soon as we get painkiller, we can painkiller this turtle. So then these two have melon armor. And we put another turtle on and painkiller the ant. Give it animal plus two plus two. I think this has to go to the turkey at the front. Not the turkey, sorry, the peacock. Let's re-roll here. Oh my god, there's another turtle. Okay, I'm actually going to do a salad bowl instead. Okay, nice. It went to that. Let's freeze that salad bowl. Okay, the, did I say turkey? I mean turtles. I don't know what to do with the turtles. I don't know whether I should be upgrading them or just painkillering them. But I need more painkillers, obviously. Okay, once again at the start, there's a deer. See, oh, okay. And it's going to, of course, kill the turtle, which gives puffer fish melon armor. Okay. But the issue we've got now is we have to deal with another bus, which is then going to take the melon armor off the puffer fish. Here we go. Okay, the bush be 5-5, five, five, though. So they both survive, which is important. Okay, they don't survive because he got buffed by the horse. Okay, that's not good. The puffer fish, nice damage. Okay, I think we win. <laughs> oh, wait, there's a bee and a turtle now. Oh, no, this could shake things up a little bit, to be honest. Oh, it is going to shake things up. The melon armor is the thing that shakes it all up. Oh, wait, that saved us. That saved us. We trade. Okay, we draw with the backward sailors. That was... There were so many twists and turns in that battle. Um... Okay. I was hoping for a painkiller. Okay, we've got okay, we've got a lot to, to sort of look at here. Um Okay. I'm thinking we this is the time to experiment now. So let's do this. Let's upgrade a turl. Give two friends behind melon armor this whole time I've been messing up. Food with health and attack effects are doubled. A cat? Do we have room for a cat in this build? I'm going to be honest, I don't think we do. I want to freeze this. I want to freeze you. I want to give one animal experience to... Could give it to the turtle, couldn't we? You know what, let's freeze this. We could, no, let's... Sorry, let's unfreeze this. Let's give this to the turkey. The peacock, I forgot again. The friend ahead casts their ability twice in battle. Um, Okay, that's kind of interesting, actually. Uh, The horse. Do I need the horse? 
Like no one's getting summoned here, but it is a nine six horse. We could easily replace it with something I feel better. Um let's re-roll. Uh <laughs> okay, shouldn't have re-rolled. Um Okay. You know what? We've got two lives. We've got we've got room to experiment here. It's not the best um experimentation that can be done. But Okay, so if we painkiller that turtle now, it will give melanoma to both the ant and the peacock. No, the puffer fish. The ant and the puffer fish. I'm l I can't talk. I'm so confused by everything. Okay, this fight seems to be going okay for us. Now, this spider has got a bee, which is going to die to the hands of the puffer fish. Now, they've got a puffer fish, but they should trade nicely. There we go. And then look at our little ant with the melon armor. Oh, let's go. So you got melon armor from the level two turtle. We should have been upgrading the turtle the whole time. It's my bad. Okay. Uh, give an animal plus two plus two. You know who I want to give that to. I want to give it to the peacock. Um, I'd also like to upgrade the turtle. I'd also love a crocodile. And the crocodile, I feel like, could be stronger than the... Could be stronger than the horse. So... Before I do that, I'm going to put the turtle on because the turtle gets some extra attack from the horse. No, it doesn't because it's not a new friend. Okay, let's then increase the peacock stats by plus two, plus two. Let's then sell the horse finally. And we're going to put the crocodile at the back just to do that little bit of damage. We are then going to unfreeze you and we're going to use a salad bowl, which gives stats to the peacock. No, the puff of, no, the blowfish. I'm calling it a puffer fish. The blowfish and the ant. Okay. Um, I'm really confused as to okay horrible start there because we actually lose the peacock straight away to that horrendously strong beaver um, and then a bee gets summoned that's okay uh, our turtle is not going to be able to trade with the kangaroo which sucks but these guys have got melon armor hopefully that blowfish kills the deer it doesn't okay here we go. The deer is obviously going to summon a 5-5 bus, which the puffer fish will be able to kill, but we lost melon armor on the ant. The puffer fish kills the sheep. Two rams spawn, hopefully just 2-2. Two, two. Ant can kill them both. Okay, five wins. Come on. Come on, we can beat it this time. Um, okay, slice of pizza is interesting. Um, okay, let's have a look here. Copy the level one ability from the animal ahead. That could be kind of cool. Um, I don't want to change the team too much, if I'm being honest. Give two random animals plus two plus two. I'm definitely going to buy the pizza because I've never seen it before. Of course, it gives it to the two weakest ones. Give an animal plus one experience. I really want to give it to... I feel like the peacock. You know what? Let's freeze this for a second and let's re-roll. Okay, none of these. Okay, here we go. Hang on, here we go. So we can do, okay, we can make the ant, honestly, let's make the ant level freeze to finish that. I know, kind of crazy. We then want to freeze this because this will allow us to get a level three peacock on the next turn or a level three turtle. I think it might have to be level three turtle. And then we obviously want the crocodile as well. And we could keep the snail in case we lose because that could buff everyone. I've just, I'm just freezing everything, guys. Let's reroll just to see if we can get anything else. No, okay. Okay, obviously I can't afford all of those in one turn, so it's going to have to be, you know, we only buy the snail if we lose, so let's keep the snail frozen for a bit. We also can't buy the snail because we haven't got room to buy a snail, so why am I freezing the snail? That rhino is disgusting, by the way. Absolutely, we just lost to one character. We actually just lost to one character. That rhino is disgusting. We just lost to one animal. Oh, five wins, three losses. Okay, come on. We need a sixth win just to beat our record for today, at least. How are we going to do that? I think upgrading the peacock is more valuable than upgrading the turtle because the crocodile doesn't necessarily make a difference if he's melon armored or not. So, peacock it is. When hurt, gain plus six attack. Buy tier one animal, give all friends... Plus one, plus one. We're not going to buy a tier one animal, are we? But that could be kind of really strong, actually. If we just wipe the board, and went for tier one right now. I still think it's going to be strong enough, but we're going to go with it anyway. Um, 
I'm aware that this melon armor removes this garlic armor, by the way. I just, I don't really want to put the crocodile there instead because it's not worth it. Crocodile's literally just here to do the seven damage at the start. Okay, we could painkiller the turtle now, couldn't we? Okay, let's look into painkiller, painkillering the turtle. I'd love to buy a snail, but truth is we don't have enough money. If we had the painkiller first spin round there, we could have done that, but we need to get lucky here. We need to play against someone who's bad. Broken Dust Bunnies versus the Fussy Puppies. Okay. The Gorilla is going to die straight away. Our Crocodile died for it could do damage. Okay, it did damage, but the bird still has one HP. Okay. Wow. A 30 and free spider. Yeah, I think we... Yeah, we lose. We lose here, everyone. That sucks. Unless the Puffer Fish is going to go absolutely crazy. Sorry, the Blowfist, which I don't think it is. No. Wait, Melon Armor. Melon Armor. And I always forget. Let's go. Six wins. One one life. Six wins, one life. Come on. That's better than we've done all day today. So I'm actually okay with that, believe it or not. Um, so, what was I thinking? I wanted to painkiller the turtle. I think so. And then we can put someone else on board, like a scorpion, which is kind of crazy. So, let's go ahead and sleeping pill the turtle. He is 8-10. This could cost me the whole game. Both of those now have permanent um, melon armor. Not permanent, but sorry, they have melon armor from the start. Let's get this crocodile at the back here. I would like to upgrade the crocodile. Knock out any animal hit by this. I feel like we just put this in just to be weird. We can't really do anything else right now. We could have rerolled, I suppose. And then we're going to upgrade our crocodiles, which is 14. Friend, faint, so I'm going to 2-2 fly in its place. That seems toxic. Um, but... I don't really think I'm going to have room for that. We could do it instead of the scorpion. I'm interested to see how the scorpion's going to perform. Because obviously it only has one HP. Oh, if only we gave melon armor to the scorpion, it could kill two things. Okay, well that's a horrible camel at the start. But it would of course die to the scorpion. We should put the scorpion at the front next time we play this game. Because the scorpion will then kill... Okay, they trade actually. The scorpion will be able to kill... Oh, the melon armor. Yeah, I think we lose. It's my... Hang on. Puff a fish. Puff a fish are going to trade. Okay. No, they trade. It was a it was a nice try. I'm thinking next we get a scorpion. Put it at the front because like that 42 and 10 rhino that we saw. It would just kill that straight away, I guess. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for today. Anyway, we got six wins. Um, was our best. Isn't our best actually overall like ever, but that's our best for today's video at least. Um been a few days since i played it's so addictive it's all i could think about when i was away and i just want to play more i think i'm not really going to improve the, in that rapid like time until i stream it and i am planning on streaming it soon i just need to find the time to stream i'm a busy bee at the moment um but yeah all the comments are helping me um like haver's comment about the painkillers i'm sure there's loads more of you that have commented about the painkillers and the permanent like faint effect and stuff it helped us with the turtles today so i can't thank you all enough keep leaving me tips and little you know, maybe ideas of builds and stuff that I should try. Um, but apart from all that, I think I'll see you next time. Just make sure you subscribe and you like the, the video and you leave a comment. When I am here, I do reply to all the comments. I'm aware on the last video I didn't reply to them all. I apologize. That one actually went live when I was away. So I'll probably go through, through and reply to all the comments on that one tonight, uh, along with this one. So uh, feel free to leave a comment and I'll get back to you. But apart from that, I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.